So what's fun about Slay the Spire is it's um, a game where you have to read a lot, and I love to read, but sometimes I just will look at a picture and panic. We are big advocates of reading here on the Cable 2 channel. Whenever we get the opportunity to spread the good word about reading. <laughs> about reading. We're, we're there. We're there. We love it. Do you ever have um, that picture of Shaq sitting in the Chinese chair telling people to read in your school? No. Oh, uh, we had like posters of celebrities about like how reading was cool. And there's one of Shaq. He was sitting in a chair that was way too small, which makes me think of um, his famous tweet. I'm at Knott's Berry Farm and my butt too big for the seat. Ah, uh, that's me yelling. Ah, uh, that's me yelling. Yeah. You had a poster of Garfield that people would take pieces of, but not the face. The face was the only thing left. I would think that the face would be like the primary target. Do you want to also explain what's get ran what gets randomized about Slate the Spire? Uh, I don't have that pulled up. Jimmy? Oh. Jimmy? I didn't do a sound thing. No, you didn't. Uh, you want to do one? You want to do one now, or are you just not gonna do one? I I have. Best friend. Link Jimmy, my favorite stream. I'm here to tell you about my best friend, that little Jimmy. Wahoo, let's go. If you wish to sup upon his wisdom, you need do nothing more than ask. Yippee. Was that Luigi? Yeah, I might have left the coin. For those of you who missed last week's mini episode, um, Quinn was going to go to a furry convention, but could not um, because she was sick. So Jimmy did go... Um, in her place and uh met some really cool people there including yeah. barack no sorry michelle obama's husband <laughs> yeah michelle obama's husband yeah. was there um jimmy we have a few questions for you in the chat zell pen wants to know what it's like inside your mind um you know those little wooden ducks that like to like to peck at the water that is your, the ducks your that like to peck at the water yeah sort of like a a bird that drinks like a drinking bird yeah. yeah. Is that what's in your brain? That's what's in my brain. I don't That's know what it's cool. called. Because it's complicated. I think it's called the drinking bird, but I don't know. But yeah, genuinely very insightful. We're much appreciative, Jimmy. Um, Wake Pudding wants to know, little Jimmy, what happens when we die? I know, I, th I feel like somebody has asked you that before, but yeah, you know, maybe your answer has changed. A lot of religions have different ideas about what happens. But people often go to religion to find the answers to those questions. And the thing is that they're all right. Every religion wow. is correct. Yeah, about they're the all correct. That makes wow. me feel better. Yeah, that does make me feel better too. On a very different note, Jimmy, do you like to line objects up next to each other? I like to stack objects on top of each other. Have you ever done um, competitive cup stacking? One time, but I got like last place. Oh. I didn't practice enough. Yeah, that is like a line except up. Thank you. Have you seen the anime Darker Than Black? There's a guy who likes to stack things next to each other. I have a question for you. So Someone who I don't know um, specifically who they are on my Steam has seen that I am online and playing a game and asked if I could vote for their friends who participate on Dota event. <laughs> yeah. Sh should I? I think that that's a question you need to look in word to answer. You're so right, Jimmy. That's awesome. This is another reason that people go seek religion. People seek religion for the same For the same reason that a, a, a random person messaged me, can you vote for my friends who participate on Dota event? No, yeah. it's like because it's a framework to help you look in word and self-reflect. Jimmy, it's how did so you get right. so smart? Um, by stacking things on top of each other. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to stacking. Thank you, little Jimmy, Bye. for coming on. Bye, Bye. little Jimmy. That was um, a delightful conversation. And yeah. It's surprisingly felt... normal. <laughs> yeah, it felt like a rather long-form conversation with little Jimmy, comparatively. <laughs> I... <laughs> Ancient I feel like this is going to make it... make my... Poor Let's display, <laughs> even worse. I'll talk a little bit about my history with Super Mario World. Because Super Mario World, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to ignore Is There Gas in the Horse? Is There Gas in the Horse is so good. <laughs> Super Mario World was the first video game I ever owned. It wasn't the first video game I ever played. My 
dad got me for my birthday a Game Boy Advance, as I believe we've mentioned previously on the stream, that was listed on eBay as being blue and showed up pink. <laughs> yes, I think we've... If we have not mentioned it, it is important lore. That is the entire reason I am the way I am. And the game that came with the Game Boy Advance from eBay was the Super Mario Advance Super Mario World port. This is the first... Uh game I ever owned. I mean... Is there gas in the horse? How, so I, my question is, how do you check, right? What do you mean? Like, how do you check if there's gas in the horse? Sniff. So I had Super Mario Advance 2 Super <laughs> Mario World for the GBA, which means that I've been playing Super Mario World for basically my entire life. Even above and beyond the Game Boy Advance port that I played, I played a lot of Super Mario World emulated. I played a lot of Super Mario World ROM hacks when I was a kid. Uh, and I've even played some Super Mario ROM hacks uh, recently on my Steam Deck. I was having some fun. So you were always a criminal. Yeah. So I have to redo this level to get the normal exit. Get rid of this key. And walk directly into a lotus plant like a dipshit. <laughs> You're not a dipshit, you just act like one. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not a dipshit. I just play one on TV. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm not this bad at Super Mario World, the game that I've been playing <laughs> for my switched, entire life. like, by the law of whatever, like, one of us has to be bad at the game we're playing, and since I'm so good and epic at Slay the Spire, you have to be bad at Mario. I'm good at Mario, you gotta believe me. <laughs> I have the excuse that I'm working uh, with limited capacity, all right? I can't run, I can't spin jump, I can't use mushrooms, so that's why I kept walking directly into enemies. Uh, 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 only a poor craftsman claimed, uh, claimed their tools. Um, what was the game you 100%ed as a kid and wanted to know what would happen if you deleted it? Uh, your oh. This was another Game Boy Advance game. This was Mario Party Advance. Which, if you're a Mario Party super fan, you might recognize Mario Party Advance as the weird single player Game Boy Advance Mario Party game that sucks. I didn't know that it sucked when I was a kid. I loved it. I did everything. I got high scores. I got all the little gadgets that you could unlock. Love that game. And the final thing I hadn't explored was the... <laughs> the dialogue that happens when you try to delete your save. And here's the problem, here's the problem. When you go to delete your save, it doesn't just say like, warning you will lose all of your progress. Do you want to continue, yes or no? It has the like, who's a little dice guy. It has the host mm -hmm. say like, are you sure you wanna do this? You'll lose all of your progress. And he like, pleads with you. You have to press yes multiple <laughs> times, which means that he was giving me dialogue and I wanted to see what the dialogue was. So I kept clicking yes until it deleted all of my save data. And then I started crying. <laughs> how old was I? No clue. No idea. I don't know how old I was 22. at any point in time. Any uh, thoughts on Luigi? Thoughts on Luigi. I like Luigi, um, and I also like, you know, I, I support what my friends enjoy, and Lil Jimmy enjoys Luigi, so I feel as though I, I can respect and appreciate Luigi more because I know how much he means to a friend of mine. I, I think that it's- I like Luigi. Yeah. Jimmy, you gotta ring Lil the Jimmy phone. Jimmy loves Luigi. I did. He just didn't hear it. It was quiet. Can you hear it? No, I don't no, think we I can can't. hear it. I try a little loud. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a really, really quiet Wilhelm <laughs> Will scream. <laughs> um, well, Jimmy, how's your homework going? I'm on page 14 of 25, as we have always done in business freedom for radical resistance. Did you maybe learn some numbers? Those are some numbers. Do you know, like... I didn't name a single number. 
said. No, little Jimmy did not name any numbers. Those were pages, actually, not numbers. Oh, okay. It's a little bit different. The only number I know, and don't tell anybody that I knew it, is 64, because I like Star Fox 64, and Mario is 64. Little Jimmy, have you ever played Minecraft? Because they have 64 in that game, too. Do they? Yeah, when when you pick That's up my items, number. you can have 64 of an item. I didn't know that. I think well, you should try um, Minecraft. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I think you would. I've tried Minecraft before, but I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. Back when I played it, I think the Enderman was a new... I liked that he held blocks in his ender hand. I just heard that you were talking about Luigi, and I wanted to say that I appreciated it. I have found it a great piece of criticism because I felt it was very actionable. I assumed yeah. that it meant that you got the text from my mom. That would I have been quite a text, that. but yeah. I don't know I... if that's the one uh, that you're talking about, little Jimmy. Did it mention Luigi in it? I don't think so. Not recently. Okay, maybe you got a different text from my mom. Yeah, I mean, we, your mom and I talk regularly over text messages. Mm-hmm. 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 This really is a question for you, Jimmy. Is there gas in the horse? If it's like a living thing, there's probably gas in me, some me. And also in, like, stars. I also I'm think gonna it's cool. go back to reading my homework. Okay, but feel free to give us a, a nice book report when you're done. It'll be, like, 80 pages. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember when you refused to believe Larry was a Koopaling? No. No, actually, I've decided <laughs> I don't remember. Cole and I ended up having an argument about Larry the Koopaling. I thought Cole was fucking with me and trying to gaslight me into believing that Larry <laughs> is the name of one of the Koopalings from Super Mario World. And so I decided that I would look up the Koopalings. And so I like Googled list of Koopalings or something and I clicked on the first link which was from one of these fandom wikia websites that turned out to be not 100% official content because we found out about like Bowser's dad <laughs> and, like a bunch of characters that definitely don't exist. <laughs> Morton Koopa Sr. This was um, the Fantendo, I believe is the name of the wiki. Uh, and I'd never heard of it before, but I immediately became obsessed with it. We just started browsing the Fantendo wiki, and we found out that a lot of children edit this wiki and add things, including an extremely long list of proposed potential sequels to the Wii. <laughs> there was one called the 3E, which is spelled the numeral 3, I, I, the 3 <laughs> <laughs> and like you could click on it and it would have a little there's a page with a description of the console and a list of important games <laughs> and the three had three sports <laughs> what were the three <laughs> which i made my discord username for a while because three sports is so funny but one of the proposed wii sequels was the wii jeff clearly from the name that's just some kid whose name was jeff yeah who decided that there was gonna be another wii named after him the wii jeff line refers to a series of wii models created by user momo6 these updates are similar in form factor to the original Wii model, but with a brightly colored finish and a large letter emblem on the side. The Wii Jeff is the first of these models and comes in a green color with a J emblem. <laughs> it was released in 2017. I love how it, the, it so confidently says it was released in yeah. 2017. That's real. The model supports Wii menu themes, animal Mii's in the Mii channel and other features, and has storage space for up to 1,000 channel blocks. Some game content was also made exclusive to this model. At launch, benefits were offset by a notable data erasing bug which has since been patched out. This kid who came up with the Wii Jeff also decided that it had a data erasing bug at <laughs> launch. A follow-up model named the Wii Katrina was announced to come in purple with a K emblem. 
and another model, the Wii Junior, was billed as the sequel to the Wii Jeff, with an identical finish, save for the addition of a subscript 2 in the emblem. I like that, that this this child was inclusive and also made a Wii, a Wii for girls. Yeah, Wii Katrina. Which, I think we need to go on the Fantendo wiki and add a page for Wii Trina Tuesday. We treat. <laughs> we treat it. We we should come up with our own console too while we're while we're at it. Named the console too. Yeah. Yeah, the console too, but like T O O because it's like also there. On the console too, the real question is, could you run games that you could run on the Wii Jeff? No licensing issues. <laughs> ah. I'm thinking that the console too will be sort of a spiritual successor to the Ouya. I like the idea of doing a console and calling it Tui. Like. Hooey, but two. The Flame Extreme is an upcoming 3D Blu-ray handheld games console made by Flame Games. It has an unknown release date and was revealed at E2A1. It will have a downloadable option for BBC iPlayer, Skyplayer, ITV Player, FTV.Player, and many more things. It will be able to connect to the Flame Bomb, as well as Wi-Fi 3G and Bluetooth. The console will be able to use discs, Blu-ray discs, DVDs, and CDs, and cartridges. Hell yes! Notable games include Flame Football 2011, Flame Kart, Clyde Racing, Flame Series, Flame World, Flame Tetris, and Flame Football colon UEFA Euro 2012. My cheeks hurt because I'm smiling too hard thinking about it. I am now potentially BK'd. For the benefit of newer viewers, there is a concept among uh, Archipelago fans called BK mode or Burger King mode, which is used to describe what happens when a player of a particular game cannot progress in their game because they need an item from someone else's game. It's called Burger King mode because apparently the person that named it was playing a game, got stuck, and then went to Burger King. All right, I'm gonna try to beat the uh, the boss, and then I think that'll be a good ending point. Either I'll beat the boss or I won't, and then that'll be it for me. <laughs> or little Jimmy can just play the drums for us. Lil Jimmy, what's Hi, up? I was just practicing drum. Sounds and great. Guitar. You're pretty Sounds good. Sounds great. Thank um, you. Know what you also said? I just got home great and you said Burger King a lot. I didn't understand a single word of that. Just a yeah, little Jimmy's talking about how much you like Burger King. I'm I'm more I'm a of a Burger. Wendy's. I'm a Wendy's oh, fiend. I am I think we both 100% are. Yeah. Hundred percent Wendy's. I recently radicalized my girlfriend on Wendy's. We are on the Wendy's grind. Definitely prefer Wendy's to Burger King. I think I prefer Wendy's to Jack in the Box too. Never had a Jack in the yeah, Box. Yeah, I was gonna say neither have I. You you person who is not where we are. I believe you that um, it's better in different countries. I sometimes use Facebook for community resources. It sometimes gives me ads for a place that is not America with uh, McDonald's spaghetti. That's epic. Spaghetti. Do you think that Ronald McDonald's hair has been a spaghetti? If you look at it. Maybe. Because a lot of the people are like food themed, right? Like the blue purple one is like a chicken McGetter thing. A grimace? Well, so the thing about grimace is that somebody claimed that he was a um, chicken nugget and then McDonald's HQ was like, we don't know what he's talking about. We don't know what grimace is. Yeah, we don't know what he's talking about. We don't know what he is. Too much and probably got assassinated by McDonald's. Yeah, I'd prefer not to get assassinated by McDonald's personally. They have that power. Hey, yeah, no, I know. audience, Grimace is not a chicken nugget. Wink. <laughs> Grimace is not a chicken nugget. Link cable audience, wink. Wink. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I went to Trader Joe's the other day, and I did see the new hot dogs there, which are like little um, pigs in the blankets that are pickle seasoned, and I haven't eaten them yet, but I look forward to eating them someday soon. Someone gave me a hot dog. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. I think that's a good place to end it for, for me. Cable to meet you, everybody. Looks like the warp zone.